you guys have already played last night and then you're playing again today. Um, so how's Wakarusa been for you so far compared to other festivals? Anything stick out in your mind? Oh. Uh, so much camping. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of camping. I guess Bonner is the only other festival I've seen as much camping at. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but you're on like the end of a long tour. I know you were talking about it earlier. You're pretty excited to get home, right? Um, from Austin. Uh, and Austin and Nashville. We feel a little bit of a kindred spirit. You had any good experiences in Nashville versus Austin? Um, oh, certainly, yeah. We had good experiences in both places. Uh, wow, though, I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, I've got, head. I know, I've got loads <laughs> of friends living, in, living up there that play in bands, and there always seems to be musicians bouncing back and forth between Austin and Nashville, you know, getting different jobs and working different things. Yeah. And, you know, Nashville's got a really awesome original rock scene that's really blooming right now. Bands like Jeff the Brotherhood. And, uh, what's others. that bar? Is it Jeffrey's? Or what's that bar downtown? Yeah. Oh, Robert's. 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 Yeah, the Honky Tonk. We all had a good time there last time. Yeah, there. it's a great place to hear some live music. So we were checking out your video for Parted Ways and loved the concept behind it. And it seemed a little bit kind of like where the wild things are. Is there any kind of connection there? Or um, what was the concept there? Um, well, the uh, creators of the video, uh, Ben Steinbauer and Bear Feeder, uh, it was, was Ben's idea when he was a kid. He used to put his shirt over his head mm -hmm. and he would make faces with his stomach with his little sister. And so the idea was making your stomach your face. Gotcha. So, uh, only if it's with women. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more adult. A little yeah. more, yeah. In NSFW, right? Awesome. right? <laughs> <laughs> but I was a big fan of, uh, they did a documentary called Winnebago Man. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar, but it's, it's really great. Okay, cool. Well, we were just talking about Doc Watson a little while ago, and then um, Bob Dylan just got recognized uh, by the president last week. Are there any, you know, legends in songwriting that kind of have inspired you guys throughout your career? Oh, uh, a whole lot. <laughs> uh, I can say my very first favorite song that I remember ever was Doc Watson singing Texas Dead on the Road to the Beatles. I think we're all huge fans. And Tom Petty, and we just saw, I think we all saw Tom Petty in Austin like several days before we started this tour. Um, yeah, I mean, gosh, it's just too, I think we're all huge fans of music. I don't even know if I could say there's like one specifically, like one artist that has influenced me. It's just a combination of so many. And I'm just going to get yeah, Oh, yeah. Well, cool. Well, um, so it looks like we're coming to the end of the festival. Is there anybody else that you guys are excited about seeing while you're here? Oh, uh, yeah. I Well, I was a little bummed we were playing the same exact time as Blitz and Trapper. Yeah. So I wanted to see them, but we'll be playing at the same time. Gotcha. We're actually doing a tour later on this year. So we'll get to see them a lot then. Uh, I wanted to see uh, Del McCurry. He's got his start in the Bluegrass World singing for Bill Brown. Mm -hmm. And his band is always so different. We also, we toured with the Abbott Brothers a couple of years ago, so I'd like to say hello to them and see them. Cool. Well, I hope you have a great time at the festival and good luck on your trip back home. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. You have a, you have a good time too.